Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most highly regarded 556 defensive loads out there. The FBI T3 or 62 grain trophy bonded bear claw. Now, a bonded soft point is generally speaking one of the most highly regarded defensive loads because they tend to be very barrier blind. Um, after passing through auto glass, sheet metal, drywall, whatever, they tend to perform about the same in gel as they would if they had not passed through a barrier. Give or take. Of course, nothing's going to be identical, but it's fairly close. Now, one of the questions that a lot of people have, though, is how well defensive loads perform either out of a short barrel at home defense distances or out of a 16 inch barrel at more at longer distances, say a hundred yards or so. So what we're going to look at today is 10 and a half inch one and seven twist FBI T3 62 grain trophy bonded bear claw in 10% calibrated organic gelatin. Okay, so this is what we were talking about. This is absolute textbook performance, and you can see that even at the lower velocity produced by that shorter barrel, performance was still outstanding. Immediate expansion, almost immeasurable neck, huge temporary stretch cavity, perfect weight retention, and absolutely ideal penetration. There is really nothing left on the table here. There's no complaint that one could have. The only way that this terminal performance gets any better is if it's a heavy OTM, like 75 or 77 grain boat tail hollow point type bullet. Those tend to fragment, creating even more tissue disruption. The problem being those heavy OTMs are not barrier blind. So you have a little bit of give and take. On the one hand, you have very, very good terminal performance with barrier blindness. And on the other hand, you can have just slightly better terminal performance and it's not barrier blind. And of course, the heavy OTMs also have a better ballistic coefficient and all that. So that may figure into your overall stocking preferences. But if you're looking for a barrier blind defensive load, <laughs> this should be pretty high on the list regardless of barrel length. If you have any questions, if you disagree, if you think 556 rifles don't belong in a home defense role, or if you just want to tell me how badass Last Jedi was, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing. It really helps to grow the channel. And growing the channel helps us bring you good content like this. If you're not subscribed already, of course, click the subscribe button. But if you are subscribed and you're not subscribe to be notified every time we post a video, click that little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we post something like this at least twice a week. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great day.